Hello, this is Matt Johnson. I'm a school counselor at TF South High School, and I'm going to take you through a video tutorial that is going to help our sophomores to be juniors select their courses for next school year using PowerSchool. So the first thing I need to do is log into PowerSchool so I can do it from the TF South webpage. I select the PowerSchool icon, and then I'm going to use my uh, login. All parents and students have PowerSchool logins, so either a student or parent can do this. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now that I'm logged in, I can see uh, this is my PowerSchool page. And to select my classes for next year, I'm going to go over to the navigation bar on the left and select Class Registration. From here, I can uh, pick all my classes for next school year. One thing I want you to pay attention to is this paragraph at the top. It's got some good information about what courses you need to select, how many you need to. It's got a link to our district curriculum guide. So if I clicked on that, it would bring me to the curriculum guide. This is a great resource for parents and students. It's got graduation requirements, which everybody should know. And then it has course descriptions. So if I scroll down, it's got a lot of great information about all of our classes that are offered. So if you're not sure what something is, you can come to this and it'll give you a description of what the course is. It'll even talk about prerequisites. So again, that's a great resource to use while you're picking your classes. And it's even something that would be smart to look at before you started selecting classes. So everyone in our school has to take at, le at least six courses. And you can see, you must select a total of at least of six classes. Junior year, you only have to take three core classes that are required. So you have to take a full year of English, a full year of social studies, a full year of math. So that's three out of your six. Then you're going to take either PE or band. So if you're not in band, you're going to select two semesters of PE for your fourth class or full year of band. And then your last two classes are electives. So that would make up your six class schedule. We're also going to ask you to pick a few alternative electives um, in case you know your original electives are not available. So the more information we put in here, the more we'll uh, be able to get a, a complete schedule that you're looking for. You can also take a seventh class. To do that, you would have to select an early bird class and the early bird request form would be required to be filled out. We'll come back to that. Once we select our classes, we have to click Submit. And right now I'm going to show you how to do that. And at the very bottom here, you can see I need to pick between six and eight credit hours. And right now I have zero credit hours selected. So again, this requesting has to be at least six and can't be any more than eight for it to be able to be submitted. So let's start with our first core class, English. I'm going to pick my class. To do that, I go all the way over to the right and I select the pencil. This window comes up with my different options for junior year English. And I'm in regular English 10 right now, so I'm going to select English 11 for next school year. I click OK, and you can see right now under English I have that is the one I'm requesting. My next class that I'm required to take is Social Studies. So I'm going to click on this pencil again. And I want you to pay attention here under Credits. These are semester classes, economics and government, they're a semester each. So I need to select two to make up a full year of social studies. So if I'm in regular U.S. history right now, I'm going to select both economics and government to make up my full year of social studies that's required junior year. Math is the next subject. Select the pencil. Again, we see these are all year-long classes, so I only need to select one. There may be uh, times when there's an alert in here or a recommendation, so your current math teacher may recommend one of these levels, so it will be bolded and your teacher's name will be here. So uh, I'm going to select Algebra 2 because I'm currently in Geometry, but if I am in Geometry, I can take Algebra 2, Honors Algebra 2, or Intro to Algebra 2, whichever one makes most sense for me. And again, your math teacher would be able to recommend that for you if it's not already in power school. If you're in Algebra 2 or Honors Algebra 2 as a sophomore, 
Next year, you're going to take either honors pre-calculus or calculus. But again, I'm in geometry, so I'm selecting regular algebra 2. Science is not required my junior year if I've already completed two years of science freshman and sophomore year. You only need two years of science to get your high school diploma, but as you can see the note underneath the science elective, it, a third year of science is required for college admission. So I'm planning on going to college, so I'm going to take another year of science next year. Click on the pencil. Again, your science teacher will maybe have a recommendation for you to the right over here. I am in some form of chemistry as a sophomore, so uh, I'm going to select one of these science classes and I'm going to take physics because I like math and physics is a big math class. If you're not a big fan of math and you want to take a third year of science, I would recommend taking earth science. If you're in honors right now, you could look at taking uh, maybe one of the AP biology or chemistry or honors physics. So those are the different options for me, but I'm going to select physics. There's four of my classes, so my fifth class is going to be either PE or band. So let's select PE because I'm uh, I'm not in band, so first I'm clicking PE semester one. So I'm looking at all the options here, and again, these are just semesters because the credits are, it's a half credit. So I need to select two of these eventually to make a full year of PE. So the first thing I want to think about is, have I had health? If I've had health already, I don't need to select that anymore. If I have not taken health, then I would want to take health as a junior. Driver's Ed is another course that is very popular. So if you have already taken Driver's Ed, you don't need to repeat that class. Um, but if you have not, you can select Driver's Ed. So me, I've already taken health and Driver's Ed, so I'm going to choose one of these other courses. Um, I'm an athlete, so a lot of my coaches have said, hey, maybe you should be in weight training. So I'm going to select weight training for semester one. I'm going to pick my second semester of PE. Click the pencil. I want to do weight training again. So I'm taking actually a full year of weight training. Then I click OK. So these are five classes. One, two, three, four, five. Now my sixth class is going to be my elective, but before I go to that, let's again, if you're in band, you're going to leave the PE section blank, and you would select the pencil here and select whichever level of band your, our band director has recommended for you. So I'm picking my sixth class now, and that's my elective. Now this is where it gets a little tricky, so you really have to pay attention when you're selecting your electives your junior year because there's so many different options. Some of them are year long, some of them are semester long, some of them are double periods. So it's real important you understand all the information in here. So I'm going to highlight some of it for you now. When you first open this screen, it lists the courses alphabetically. You can click on this number column and it'll sort it by department. So I would recommend doing that. So all the language classes are together. And don't be fooled, don't think these are the only electives. There are multiple pages at the bottom. So if I go to page two, all of our English electives are listed here. Social studies electives, some extra science classes if you wanted to take multiple science classes. We have some extra math classes. We have some business classes and computer classes. We have uh, some of the classes at the tech center. So these are our career technical education courses. If I want to be an auto mechanic, I would have to select intro to auto tech and auto tech one. That's a double period. And um, you would have to select both of these because this is the first semester class and auto tech one is the second semester class. If you ever have any questions about any of these electives, please feel free to reach out to your counselor and make sure you understand what you're selecting. Even if you don't select, make sure you get all this done and submitted. If there's an issue, your counselors will check on the back end and contact you if there's an issue and make sure that we get the schedule the way you want it in the classes that you want. So again, there's a CTE classes are all the 6,000s and then 7,000s are the fine arts. We have choir, concert, guitar, music theory, and AP, AP music theory. 
So for here, for my sixth class, I have to make sure I'm selecting either a year-long class or two semester classes. I can sort it by credits. So if I click on this, all these half credit classes, these are semesters. So if I'm choosing one of these, I have to choose another one to have a full year class. If I only select one, then my schedule is going to be incomplete. One more thing I want you to pay attention to when you're in electives are these prerequisite notes. You want to make sure that you've completed the prerequisite class before you select some of the upper level classes. So let's look at our art classes. All right, so I'm interested in taking art my junior year. And I look at painting and I think, oh, painting's great. You know, I, I want to consider taking painting. It's a year long class, but you can see here, I need to have successful completion of art fundamentals before I can take this class. So knowing that, if I want to begin with art my junior year, I would have to select art fundamentals. If it's got two credits, it's a year-long double period class. So Culinary Arts 2, again, I would have to complete culinary, Intro to Culinary Arts 1 first, then Culinary Arts 1 next, and then Culinary Arts 2. That's, that's the order. But again, I'm going to select Art Fundamentals. So these would be my six classes that I want. Now I'm going to pick a second elective just to see, uh, just in case I want, just in case Art Fundamentals doesn't work for me. So if I can't get Art Fundamentals, uh, let's see, what other class would I want? Maybe I want to do some semester electives. So I'll sort it by semesters. And I'm going to pick two of these. So let's say I want to take speech and maybe African American literature. So again, there's semester courses. I'm selecting two for a year worth of electives there. Next thing I have to do is pick a, a backup elective. Okay, so I'm going to go to my alternate electives. And let's sort it by department again. And I'm interested in engineering too. So if I can't get into... Those are my first two choices, then I'm going to go into, I want to take an engineering class, so I can see we have two here. Um, but again, I can't choose engineering tech one unless I've completed intro to engineering. So that's going to be the one I select. All right, so I got lots of information on here. And again, if you go right down in order, these are the six classes I'm going to take. English 11, Econ and Gov, Algebra 2, physics, two semesters of weight training and art. These are extras if I want to take an extra class. And right now I'm thinking, yeah, I do want to take a seventh class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select an early bird class. And to do that, I would look at the list of classes that are offered to juniors in early bird. And I want to pick one that I've already got on my schedule. So uh, I can take English 11. Physics is not offered. I would be able to do Algebra 2, or I could do weight training for a year. If you decide you want to do individual and team sports, you'd have to select both of these because, again, it's a semester and you need a full year of early bird if you're requesting early bird. But I'm going to go with English. I want to get my English class for early bird. All right, so once I've done that, I'm going to submit it before I look for my before I uh, submit my early bird request form. So let's go ahead and scroll down here and I will click submit. And now it saves my courses. So English, Econ and Gov, Algebra 2, Weight Training. You can see English is on here twice. Don't worry about that. After I fill out my early bird request form, my counselor will go in and delete the extra one and move my extra elective into there. So I can go back and I can go to this early bird request form because I'm going to take early bird and I'm going to make sure I fill this out. If I don't fill this form out, I'm not going to get my early bird class. It'll be dropped. So there's a brief little description about early bird and all the policies and who gets uh, priority for early bird. 
I'm going to enter my ID number, first name, last name, what grade level I'll be in next year. You're going to mark the reason you're requesting early bird. So I would, I'm taking a seventh class, so I would mark that. And then here I would type the class that I want to take as my seventh class. Um, so I selected, let's see here. So I, can, I would mark both of these, African American Literature and Speech, as the seventh class for my elective, and then this would be my alternate. So that's how you enter your classes into PowerSchool, your course selections for next year. I hope this tutorial has been uh, informational and it uh, makes it easy for you to select your classes. We know it's not real easy doing it online, um, but this is seems to be the best and easy and safest way that we can get uh, all of our courses selected for you guys for next year. And as always, if you have any questions at all, please do not reach out or hesitate to reach out to your counselor. And remember, even if you're not sure or you make a mistake, you can always contact your counselor and we can fix it on the back end if there's some sort of issue. So good luck selecting your classes for next school year and let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.